Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Sorry if I haven't put out anything um, for my book reviewers over here. It's been hectic, but I got I got like five books in the in the tuck that I'm gonna end up uploading for you guys today. I'm back with Unlabeled, Mark Echo. That book is fire. Now, on right on the front it says, "For art and execution, this is the book." George Lucas said that. So. Man, I'm like looking at this. I'm like, yo, the creator of Star Wars said this about this book. Let me check it out. For those who don't know, Mark Echo is the founder of Echo Unlimited, um, Echo Cut and Sew, any other clothing. He's the guy behind the Rhino. And, you know, plenty of people try to buy him out. He was pretty popular. Um, got his stuff into Macy's. He started off in his garage with just graffiti cans and just kind of, you know, just doing airbrush and shit like that. So it's like, he definitely came from the scene of, um, I mean, for those who don't know, hip hop has five elements and graffiti is one of them. So he kind of came from that element and it branched into the streetwear side. And then eventually he ventured into what's now known as Complex Media. Complex is like the go-to website for, um, I mean, anything, anything pop, anything pop culture. They have... Uh, they have Hot Ones, they, they have uh, Everyday Struggle, Joe Budden used to be on there, but Academics in Wayno and the Desco running now. They have uh, Sneaker Shopping, so they're, they're, they got all, a lot of content coming in all the time, but I would say this guy, he envisioned a lot of this before, he, he knew kind of the wave of media, and he branched, he, he himself branched a path for um, sneaker heads and, and uh, streetwear artists and stuff like that to kind of be in tune with the media and content stuff like that so he really kind of uh got two separate groups into together and i really really enjoy this book because it, it shows like a clear version of him coming up it like talks about him airbrushing and like just doing like orders for people and like i mean everyone had some sort of style from um from like the streetwear graffiti artist and th that was like the era that he was in it was super big um i mean at the end of the day that wasn't gonna stand so long and that's why he wanted to do media he wanted to um he wanted to branch into shows and like doing productions and stuff and he really got his own chance by doing that and not being the face of it not he was always the man behind the rhino but then once you saw it now people don't even see complex as something associated with mark echo which is crazy because it's like it's just grown into so much more than um and especially in the last couple years and it's gonna get bigger but uh complex is all over you know they're on fuse tv they probably end up getting radio slots soon but they definitely collect their checks and this book right here pretty much shows the pivots and the deals of you know what going with like tommy hill figure and like just deals falling through deals being made and you know a clothing line kind of going bankrupt and and there's like this this need and supply and demand and then too much supply not enough demand and it's it gets uh intense when you're reading the book but i was very inspiring for me because i came from you know being a hip-hop artist trying to jump into this media business and i i fell in love with just making content and like sharing value with people so this book is definitely one to go get i'm gonna put the link in the bio so you guys definitely go um go check this one out he's uh definitely gonna be doing a lot more and i hope he I hope he updates the book or does another book, you know, throw something else out. But him being a creative artist, creative genius, and him coming up with this entity and this, you know, this fruition. And it's, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a fun book to read, especially with all the little business problems that you get that you don't know about. Like he went through, had to do name changes and, and spelling and like he was getting hit with cease and desist and shit. So you, you got to read it, um, you know look more into what's behind all the um all the hype i mean you got uh revolt tv ran by puff daddy and like i would love to read a book that how that came up but like we don't know where mtv really came up i don't know who kind of brought that up so i would love that this is a, a current media a, a media company that's gonna be real big and this guy kind of wrote this tell all before it even kind of blew up so hey check the book out george lucas liked it he got a huge ass review um it's just dope uh un unlabeled selling you without selling out so that's all you gotta do stick to your guns stick to what you believe in 
bam, bam, and go buy this on Amazon right here.